हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन रेविट आर्किटेक्चर 2024 फॉर बिगनर्स आई एम आर्किटेक्ट सोनो राय फ्रॉम ग्लैड स्टूडियो एंड इन दिस टुडे वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट सीलिंग इन रेविट सो इफ यू गो टू योर बिल्ड मोड इन रिबन पैनल इन आर्किटेक्चर एंड इफ यू लुक दिस सीलिंग दिस इज जस्ट बिसाइड योर रूफ सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन टू दिस सीलिंग एंड इफ यू लुक एट द सीलिंग this is automatic ceiling and next one is sketch ceiling so there are two types uh, automatic and sketch ceiling so in automatic it will automatically detect ceilings in your project and in sketch ceiling you can make your own custom ceiling designs in revit so both are important so first i am going to uh, ceiling and i am going to select automatic ceiling and if you look at the properties there is a compound ceiling 2 feet by 4 feet act system so at act means acoustical ceiling tile so if you look at this uh, category here there is a generic uh, ceiling here and there is 2 feet by 2 feet act system and 2 feet by 4 feet and this is gypsum wall board on metal stud this one is another type ceiling here so first i am going to select this 2 uh, feet by 4 feet act system and now i am going to constraints here and this is level 1 that is ground floor and you can give this height offset at what height you you want your ceilings so my uh, ceiling is will be at 8 feet you can change to any other size if you want so i am going to keep this as a standard at 8 feet and you can tick this box room mounting and now i am going to uh, bring this mouse here cursor inside uh, this viewport and you can see this is not getting selected but as soon as if you uh, bring to any enclosed space for automatic ceiling so i am going to bring this for my bedroom and you can see this orange lines here so it is automatically detecting and now i am going to click inside one room and you can see here none of the created elements are visible in floor plan level 1 view you may want to check the active view its parameter and visibility settings as well as any plan regions and their settings so this will be not visible in floor plans so what you can do so this i want to make you understand that's why i created ceilings in floor plans so for this you are required to go to the ceiling plan and now you can go to your level 1 and you can see your this 2 feet by 4 feet act system here in your ceiling plan so you can uh, visualize this in your 3d view so how to do this so you can go to your 3d default 3d view and you can select this camera here and you can uh, dr uh, click anywhere here and you can drag to any other direction and you can see this is ceiling and you can uh, see this four dots so you can simply enlarge this just to make you understand how it will look so this is our ceiling and you can go to this visual style and you can uh, visualize with a realistic mode here and you can see our ceiling is created so now you can see this ceiling is created and you can also add it inside your 3d view so you can you select your ceiling you can change the level so you can make this as a 9 feet if you want and you can click apply and this will be at a 9 feet you can also add it here go to edit type and you can duplicate this you can create your own here you can change the structure if you want you can go to structure here and you can change this finish if you want any wood finish here you can create this by creating a duplicate so i am going to cancel this and i am going to create a duplicate here suppose i want to make a wood finish here so i am just going to select wood finish and going to select a structure and now you can see this finish to acoustical ceiling tile so this is a uh, thickness is you can also change this thickness if you want you can make this 6 by 8 or 4 by 8 and now i am going to click on to this acoustical ceiling tile i am going to click on this three dot and you can go to your material browser here you can go to create a new material 
and now I'm going to asset browser and I'm going to type wood here so we'll select any wood here so I'm going to select finish here and I'm going to select this wood black on red wood so I'm going to double click onto this and I'm going to click apply ok ok apply ok and you can see this is changed here this acoustical tile to wood here so likewise you can change this material so i'm going to again my level one floor plan and i will go just now here ceiling plan level one and now i'm going to select this area and i will go to this ceiling here and i'm going to select this two feet by two feet act system and now you can see this orange line it's getting selected i'm going to select and now you can see this two feet by two feet acoustical ceiling tile here so now you can also select this line and you can move this if you want it will change here its position so now you can see here in 3d view so i'm going to level one and i'm going to again select a camera here and i will see here so you can see this is created here i'm going to realistic mode and you can see this is two feet by two feet acoustical ceiling tile so likewise you can do this by automatic ceiling you can also select this uh, ceiling and you can select this uh, GWD gives some wall board on metal stirred and you can select this and you can create for toilet here and this will be created in level one ceiling here so you can see uh, and you can visualize this in realistic so you can see this is wood finish tile here ceiling tile and you can see this is two feet by two feet ACT acoustical tile and this is gypsum wall board finish so you can also set a camera and look at this here so I'm going to 3D view camera and we'll see how our toilets looks so we'll change the camera position here so this is inside the door here and we'll go to our 3d view so i'm going to double click on this 3d view 3d view 3 and you can see our toilet here So I'm going to realistic mode here and you can see this is gypsum wall board you can change the height offset here you can change the height offset from this and you can also change this material it's a structure and you can do any other material if you want instead of gypsum wall board just create a duplicate of this and you can create any other material so now this is the basic introduction about this gypsum uh, wall board and automatic ceiling and you can again go to this automatic ceiling and you can look look at this generic also and wood finish two feet by four feet act system two feet by two feet so just now i gave basic introduction about all this so now i'm going to sketch ceiling mode so you can create your own custom ceiling designs so i'm going to my level two here now and i'm going to hidden line here so now i'm going to create a custom ceiling for this bedroom so i'm going to my ceiling here and i'm going to click onto this sketch ceiling and i'm going to draw tools here and we will use any tools to draw this so i'm going to select this uh, generic here and i'm going to use this line tool and you can also use rectangle so i am going to draw a rectangle here around this so this is at uh, 8 feet and now i am going to offset this and i am going to select offset tool so i want this to be offset 1 feet 6 inches you can look at this modify here create ceiling boundary so i am going to give a offset 1 feet 6 inches and you can create a copy and now I'm going to create an offset all around here so you can use this trim extend to corner here TR 
shortcut command and can trim this off so this is one feet six inches standard here and now you can finish this and you can uh, go to your level two here ceiling and you can see this is created here so you can visualize this in realistic mode so this ceiling is created so now i'm going to create another ceiling here so i am going to my ceiling here and i'm going to sketch ceiling and now i want two feet by two feet acoustical uh, ceiling system here so i'm going to select this two feet by two feet act system and now i want this to be eight feet six inches high so i want in level difference so i'm going to click on this rectangle tool and i'm going to create a act system here and now this is created here and you can put some lights also so for uh, giving some lights you can go to insert here and you can go to load family and you can go to lighting here and you can go to architectural so i'm going to select on internal and you can select this ceiling light flat round and i'm going to open this and i'm going to architecture place a component and you can see this ceiling light flat round is inserted in our properties here so now i'm going to just bring my mouse inside this ceiling and you can see this is getting selected so now i'm going to place a, a ceiling light here a ceiling light here a ceiling light here here and i'm going to place one light here so now this is placed here and now again i'm going to my insert i'm going to turn some more lights here so we can select any other light if you want and you can select pendant light also so i'm going to click this open here and I'm going to place this pendant light here and so just to make you understand we'll insert some more lights so i'm going to load family and we'll use this rectangle here led and now i'm going to component place a component and i'm going to place a rectangle here so now we'll see all this in 3d so i'm going to level 2 here and i'm going to camera here and i'm going to draw a camera so now you can see this here and you can go to realistic mode and you can see this is light is inserted and you can uh, create your custom slings by using uh, this uh, create by sketch method and you can create any other ceiling also so you can create any nice design so suppose i want uh, for level two any interesting ceiling so i will quickly draw a ceiling here so i'm going to ceiling sketch ceiling and now i'm going to use this uh, wood finish here and I, first i will use this generic and i'm going to use this pick lines here so i'm going to quickly pick pick these lines here so i want to create a ceiling by sketch in this area and you can use trim extend and you can trim these corners here so now i'm going to this hidden line and you can see this is our ceiling area so if you want to create any interesting shapes here so you can make some shapes here you can use this arc here and you can draw any shape here depending on your design so suppose i want to draw this shape here and i'm going to use a split element will split this off and now i'm going to use this trim extent 
so suppose I'm going to finish this and now you can see this shape is created and you can view in realistic mode and now I want to place a wood finish inside this so I'm going to use this wood finish and now I'm going to draw some wood finish ceilings here and we'll view in this three view so I'm going to camera and we'll see how our ceiling looking so you can see this is our ceiling design created using ceiling by sketch so I'm going to realistic mode and you can see this is beautiful ceiling so likewise you can create by using automatic ceiling and ceiling by sketch so I think it is enough for our basic introduction to ceilings in Revit how to make ceiling so in the next video tutorial I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit so thanks for watching bye bye